Last year we went after three gold medals. This year I want to go after four. Or if I don't get four, we go after three world records. The way he says it, it's as if it's as simple and easy as that. But since we're talking about Noah Lyles, who knows, right? After all, it is Noah Lyles who, time after time, has proven that he is one of the best athletes of his generation. In fact, he aims to surpass Usain Bolt's legacy. With the Paris Olympics in sight, Noah Lyles seems to be working double time to either win his target number of gold medals or surpass Bolt's record, or both. Well, he appears to be off to a great start as he crushed his personal best in the 60 meters to open the Olympic year in earnest. No one can say that he's not once again ready to dominate the track, especially after his remarkable season last year. On that note, let me give you a brief recap of the unbelievable heights, or more accurately, times, Lyles had last season. Just like he did a few days ago, Noah Lyles ran a personal best time in the 60 meters at the 2023 New Balance Indoor Grand Prix in Boston, with 6.51 seconds. This is the moment I've been working like seven years for, he said. We're not just coming for the 200 meter world record, we're coming for all the world records. Sounds familiar? Well, his goal remains the same, which to be honest is not at all surprising. I bet even if or when he breaks all of Bolt's records, he'll just continue his goal of breaking records, even if they were his own. Even when he was asked about breaking Bolt's 200 meter record of 19.19, the American track star said that even though it's crazy to say, he does not think it will be that hard. By June, when Noah Lyles marked his 11th win of the season at the 2023 New York City Grand Prix, he recorded his 34th career sub 20 second 200 meter race with a time of 19.83 seconds. In the same month, Lyles also had an amazing finish at the Paris Diamond League Athletics Meeting, where fans expected a showdown between Olympic 100-meter champion Marcel Jacobs and world 200-meter champion Noah Lyles. It was a showdown indeed, but it was Lyles who led the men's 100-meter race from the front and won after clocking 9.97 seconds. But it's Noah Lyles who takes the win. That 200-meter strength just carried him through. I'm a in a surprising turn of events in July, Lyles finished third at the USATF National Championship Finals in Eugene, which earned him a spot on the men's 100-meter USA team for the World Championships. I say surprising since Lyles himself did not expect to earn a spot after barely being able to compete due to COVID. Then at the London Diamond League, Noah Lyles became the new owner of a 200-meter record after he surpassed Usain Bolt's record, clocking a world-leading 19.47. But it's Lyles who's stretching away. The world champion wins it once again, 19.46. It was then that Noah Lyles broke his tie with Usain Bolt for the record number of times breaking 20 seconds into wind-legal 200 meters. Lyles did it for the 35th time in the set event by prevailing in 19.47, the 10th best time in history. The following month, Noah Lyles became the undisputed individual sprint king of 2023 after he breezed a victory in 19.52 seconds in the 200 meter final at the 2023 World Athletics Championships in Budapest, Hungary. In addition to his 200 meter gold, Noah Lyles took home the gold at the men's 100 meters after registering a personal best time of 9.83 seconds. With that win, Lyles earned the moniker, Fastest Man Alive. He then got his third gold from the 4x100-meter relay final. Noah Lyles completed a golden hat trick at the 2023 World Athletics Championships in Budapest, Hungary, as he anchored the U.S. quartet to gold in the men's 4x100-meter relay final. With his performance in Budapest, Lyles became the first man in seven years to complete the sprint treble at a global championship. After such a remarkable season, it did not come as a surprise when he was named the 2023 Men's World Athlete of the Year. Despite this, Noah Lyles is hungry for more, and he's very vocal about his goals this season, so no question about that. If his performance so far is any indication, his aspirations of winning gold medals this season may just be attainable. How so? Well, the reigning world champion in the 100 meter, 200 meter, and 4x100 meter showcased his incredible form by setting a new personal best of 6.44 seconds in the 60 meter event at the World Athletics Indoor Tour Gold Meeting in Boston a few days ago. To 
battling away. And I tell you what, the lightning quick start from Blake in lane three is what really powered Noah Lyles forward. That is a brilliant run, 6.44. Not only a world leader, it's a personal best and meeting record. It is notably a personal best by 0.07 seconds and, as mentioned, by far the fastest time of the year. It was a notably closely contested race, with Lyles narrowly defeating Jamaica's Akeem Blake, who clocked 6.45 seconds, while Ronnie Baker, the 2018 World Indoor Bronze Medalist, secured the third spot with a time of 6.54 seconds. Fred Curley, the 2022 World 100-meter champion, finished fourth in his second-ever 60-meter indoor race, recording a time of 6.55 seconds. Lyles, who had previously won his heat in 6.54 seconds, exuded confidence after achieving a world lead in the 60-meter event. My confidence is now skyrocketed. Let's go get a world indoor medal, exclaimed Lyles. But wait, there's more. Lyles not only surpassed his own personal record, but also eclipsed Maurice Green's meet record from a quarter of a century ago. He is now tied for seventh fastest in American history in the shortest sprint. I didn't know I was in that good shape, Lyle said after beating the Jamaican Akeem Blake by 0.01 seconds. World lead, meet record, now let's go out there and get a world indoor medal in Glasgow. After smashing his own numbers from last year's New Balance Indoor Grand Prix and defending his title like a pro, Noah Lyles declared, we are coming after everything. Needless to say, his great start in Boston delighted Lyles with more. It only makes me think about outdoor competitions as well. Why not world records? Why aim for something small when we can aim high? It was the only warning he gave before sharing what his actual goals are for the season. Hey, last year we went after three gold medals. This year I want to go after four. Or if I don't get four, we go after three world records. Just in case you didn't hear that well, this is what he said. If I don't get four gold medals, I'm going after three world records. Shocking? No. He's always been clear about what he wanted to achieve both in his life and career. So, what's next for him, you may ask? After having an impressive start to the season, Noah Lyles is now eyeing the 2024 World Athletics Indoor Championships in March. But before that, Lyles plans to race at the USA Track and Field Indoor Championships in two weeks, bidding to make the World Indoor Championships team for the first time. And then, Lyles, along with the rest of the Americans, are gearing up for June's Olympic trials in Eugene, Oregon, where the top three in most events make the team for Paris. We're coming after everything, Lyles declared. All the Olympic medals. I don't care who wants it. It's mine. He also spoke about going after Usain Bolt's 100-meter and 200-meter world records, as well as Jamaica's in the 4x100-meter relay. If I don't succeed, I will try, try, try again, he said. To do this, Lyles puts a heavy focus on his preparations as he reveals his focus on strength training. This is for the attainment of his aspirations for the world 60-meter indoor title, as well as the 100-meter, 200-meter, and 4x100-meter events at the upcoming Olympic Games in Paris 2024. I have been in the weight room. I had the ability to strike the ground with more force he shared. For now, it's just the beginning of the race to Paris. And speaking of which, here's another athlete who you'd definitely be rooting for there.